Hi, this is Catherine Kuhnenbrauer. Um, I'm your instructor for Writer's Talk Spring 2011. I think this is the fifth edition or maybe even the sixth edition of this course. Um, I just want to let you know first the the um, the text we'll be looking at this this uh, this session. First we'll be looking at Lydia Millet's My Happy Life, a novel, and then we'll be looking at a story from the collection by Heather Burrell entitled I Know You Are But What Am I? And then we'll have a look at two stories from the anthology My Mother She Killed Me, My Father He Ate Me, which is edited by Kate Bernheimer. We'll be looking at a story by Kate as well as a story by Kim Adonizio. And, um, and then we'll be looking at Sheila Hetty's novel How Should a Person Be? So the course uh, runs over eight weeks, as you probably know, and uh, we spend two weeks on novels and one week on each short story. And then we have a visit from Motoko Rich, a New York Times editor. Um, she'll be here all week, the final week, uh, answering questions about the industry. And, um, uh, you know, she's really savvy about um, e eat publishing and essentially how newspapers work as well. So she's really quite quite a a well of um, of information. So um, the course uh, opens, each week opens a new section and um, the sections are two weeks for a novel, as I said, one week for a short story. The novels, we look at a different aspect of craft each each week. And of course, over the, over the seven main weeks of the course, um, we look at a different aspect of craft each time with some overlap, of course, just because they, the aspects of craft all overlap. I, I, ideally, um, you're working with all these things together in, um, in harmony. So um, as well, each week opens um, a lesson, uh, um, some extra material sometimes, depending on the author, and uh, sometimes a lesson primer, uh, especially with sort of the harder topics like plot um, uh, and uh, point of view, things like that. And then also uh, there's an assignment each week. So there are eight assignments uh, offered through the course. If you are a certificate student, you're obliged to do three of the eight. You may do more. And if you're not a certificate student, you may do as many as you like. I read everything you post. So um, you don't have to feel that you're posting um, too much. Uh, that ne that can't really happen um, unless you're po trying to post 20 pages each week. That that we'll, we'll talk about later. Um, so essentially there's an assignment every week and if you're a certificate student you're also obliged to do a um, to post a work in progress of your own. So a personal project for the for the uh, other students and for me to to look at and comment on. Uh, and in this way, I think if people are posting at least three times uh, through the course, ideally five, say, um, I think you're, you'll be getting really quite a lot out of the course. If you're a certificate student, you're also obliged to, to make a comment on every, um, on every forum that opens up. So um, each week you'll, you're obliged to make at least one comment on the topic hopefully more, but I just want to make sure that everyone who is in the position of being a certificate student is participating so that I can grade them. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. There are, there will be little technology issues. Everyone, almost everyone has them along the way, usually in the first week or so that's all sorted out. Um, we'll, I'll set up through the course two or three times where we can meet as a group in chat in the Absolin environment and this gives us an opportunity to get bond a little bit and also to um, you know deal with any little questions that you have about how the course works and we'll meet for the first time in the first week so what I'd like you to do when you first enter the course once you've seen this video is to check out the syllabus and then go to self introductions and leave a little note about yourself what you uh, where you live what kind of writing you do, what kind of writing you're interested in, what you read perhaps, um, what you're hoping, what your aspirations are for the course, and also uh, what your best times are so that I can choose a meeting time in which the largest number of us uh, is available. So, um, so, then, so then we'll set that time and we can meet. 
So I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and I'm especially looking forward to reading your work and commenting on it and uh, just enjoying enjoying the class generally. I set the course up this term to be an all, all women writer um, uh, session. I've never done that before. I think probably the courses have been in occasionally weighted in the other direction not um, not willfully not consciously but just uh, partly just due to people's availability and this this term I decided um, quite stubbornly actually that I would have an all-women roster and that was in part response to in response to a finding from an organization called Vita that um, many of the bigger publish publishing you know sort of venues um, like the New York Times and the New Yorker and the Guardian um, had a had a very uh, a pretty heavy um, weighting toward male reviewers and male writers um, and of course it it's not necessary to remedy this but I just thought it would be interesting to see what that would look like and one of the interesting things that has come out of it for me at any rate is that in in creating the course around this sort of thematic hub I realized um, just how innovative these particular women writers are um, and I don't know if I would have quite noticed it if I hadn't um, sort of separated it. Uh, I think the writers that uh, I've chosen for the course are, are really spectacular. I'm hoping that you think so too. Um, but even if you don't think that the work, even if you don't like, you know, it's everyone, reading is such a subjective um, activity. So it may be that not every piece appeals to you but I'm hoping that no matter what, you'll see uh, the interesting things that these women writers are doing um, and where they're taking the forms. So enjoy the course. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to meeting you. And um, well, we'll see you. We'll see you in the forums.